Serenity Beach is famous for its sunrise point. It's a haven for early riser. For us, one of the reason of staying in this beach is to witness the sunrise. After this fresh start, we will visit Aurobindo Ashram, Vinayagar Temple, then we will relax on the beach. Also, at the end, I will show you how they make wood oven pizza. If you like to watch our video, kindly subscribe to our channel. It will be free for you, but it helps us to grow. So guys, it's morning 5.30 and we are going to the beach for sunrise. In morning, you can find lots of vehicles in the parking. People are coming from different places to witness the sunrise. At the end of the street, there is a rock wall. Due to sand and water, those rocks are a bit slippery. So, carefully we found our way to reach the end point of this bridge. By standing along the edge of this vantage point offers a breathtaking panoramic view of Bay of Bengal. We wait for some time and slowly the sun appears in the horizon. It feels like the unparalleled beauty of the sunrise along with the sound of waves creates a perfect and meditative atmosphere. As the sun slowly rays, it paints the entire sky and ocean in yellow and red color. Along with this beauty of sunrise, you can also witness youngster and tourist riding the waves on their surfboard. Serenity Beach is also known for parasailing and surfing. You will find few surfing institutes along the beach. From there, you will be trained by the instructor and also we will get the surfing equipment in rent. This rock bridge is very thoughtfully designed to protect the sand dune. Serenity means silence and this beach is quite isolated from city crowd and it's mostly used by local fishermen. As you can see, after overnight fishing, those small boats are coming back for harvesting. Let me show you how they bring those boats on the shore. They use their tractor and some kind of mechanical pulley device to tug the boat on the sand. Let's see what is there in their net. This ferry particularly caught crabs and fish. After a quick chat with them, we came to know they will bring their catch to the local mandi for bidding and a small portion they will sell here only. So if you want to purchase fresh fish, you can take it from here. Those 6 piece mackerel, they are selling in 100 bucks. And this 4 piece big prawn also in 100 bucks. It's very cheap compared to other places. Guys, this is the entrance of Serenity Beach. 
Here you will find small shops for quick snacks and also you will get fried fish here. After a beach walk and morning tea, now we are going to get ready for the day. Good morning guys. Today is day 2 of our Pondicherry trip. First we will going to have breakfast. Then our plan is to explore Eden Beach and Paradise Beach. Hi friends. Now we are going for breakfast. Uh, we not decided where we will go. But all the French uh, restaurant which is popular in Pondicherry those are very crowdy and their service is very slow so first we will see how much crowd is there and based on that one we will take the decision uh, our first preference is cafe dessert then cafe leo uh, let's see uh, where we can go uh, movita uh, sion is sitting behind Friends, we went to Coromandel Cafe and Cafe Leo. In both places, there is waiting for more than one hour. We don't want to waste that much of time for breakfast. So, we are looking for other options. On our way, we found a small cafe called French Loaf. Let's go inside and see what they have for breakfast. This small cafe and bakery is located at the heart of French Quarter. It's a really nice cozy place to have your breakfast. Not much crowded. They offer variety of baked and sweet delicacies. This place is cute with limited seating. We ordered sandwiches and croissant along with coffee. Just look at this old fringe building in bright yellow colors that gives you a taste of fringe quarter. Pondicherry was under French rule until 1954. So the legacy that was left here is absolutely everywhere. You can see those in the buildings, in the architecture, culture and in the cuisine. There is lots of French people and you can find most of the local people speaking in French language. Next, we will meet you in Aurobindo Ashram. So guys, we reach Aurobindo Ashram. I, here, camera is not allowed. So, we are catching you after few times. The opening time of the ashram is from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and evening from 4 to 8 p.m. This ashram is located at the middle of the white town. In this street, you will find small shops selling local crafts. Like here, they are selling chunk of different sizes and shapes. Mm -hmm. 
This is main gate of Aurobindo Ashram. This place does not require any introduction. Widely renowned for its significance, heritage and values. In this building, Sri Aurobindo and the mother lived for most of their lives. At its center, there is a tree-shaded courtyard with their samadhis where their bodies are laid to rest. After spending some me time in serenity, our next stop is in Sri Manakula Vinayagar Temple. This place is just 5 minute walking distance from Aurobindo Ashram. All around the temple premises, you would find small shops selling various items for worship, including the offering of fruits and flowers. This temple is 500 years old and the architecture is a blend of traditional and contemporary style and it's creating an unique and inviting ambience. Inside the temple, you can find different avatar of Lord Ganesh, but inside photography is not allowed. The temple entrance was grand and the giant, vibrant and colorful painting will take in you all over the top. After coming out from temple, we see that local people are selling handmade jewelry in the street side. Now it's 11.30 and we are on the way to Eden Beach. The best way to explore Pondicherry is by hiring a scooty and it will cost around 350 per day. Guys, we reached Eden Beach. You have to walk few steps to explore the beach. This place is highly commercialized. There are lots of water activities along with zipline and boat riding. You need to walk few steps to reach the sand area. There is this pillared structure right at the entrance of the beach. This is a blue flag certified beach with all the facilities like changing room, washroom. Eden Beach is ideal in the morning or evening. Anything in between will burn you nicely. After having coconut water, we decided to return back because there is no such shade or sack in the beach to rest. From here, Paradise Beach is around 10 km distance. Also, there is another way to reach Paradise Beach by Chunamba Boat House in a ferry and it costs around 350 per person. The boat ride will take you through the backwater. Now we are in Paradise Beach. Here the entry fee is 70 rupees per person. This place is very well maintained and lots of water sports are available here. It's a perfect place for hangout with family and friends. Local facility is also available in this beach. If you forget to bring your swim shoot, don't worry, you can buy it from here. My plan for now is to give a quick tour of this place and then keep everything in locker and spend a quality time in water with my friends. They provide a good changing room and shower room. And here we come in the sand area. This is the entrance of the beach. The beach offers shacks, food and drinks of your choice. 
Paradise Beach is known for its golden sand and tranquil environment. It's a fun and happening place. I must say one of the cleanest beach of Pondicherry. After spending a wonderful day with friends, now we came to Tanto for our dinner. This is an authentic Italian fine dining restaurant. Their main attraction is traditional Udovin pizza. Let me show you how they preparing our pizza. Once the pizza base is ready, they spread the sauce and put the toppings of your choices. oven it will take 2 minutes to bake in the oven they use a special wood for fire and the oven wall was made of with bricks which trap the heat and allows to reach a very high temperature so it's cook the pizza very quickly and evenly they are using bell pepper butter mushroom zucchini onion as toppings now our pizza is ready it's time to cut and ready to serve We order grilled chicken pizza, chicken salad, and lasagna. Pizza was very good, but lasagna was little soggy inside. So, guys, this brings us to the end of our today's vlog. Tomorrow, we will meet you or will for meditation. If you guys like our video then subscribe to our channel if you have any queries comment section is open for you and thanks for watching